Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car? Don't you know it? Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. <laughs> Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to transport the evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation to transport the body of your accomplice, Miss Lana Skye. Oh, to your accomplice, Miss Lana Skye. Order! 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 What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusation? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe your time is up. My time's up? I'm really Satan and I'm here to reap your soul, Judge. Sorry, Rado, but I'm having lunch with the District Attorney General after this. No, you're not. Yeah, what was that get going plan? if we're gonna make it in time for the early bird special. Shut up, Gant. Objection. You're, you're not leaving. But, but the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Uh, weapons. Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. I feel like a judge would be like, nah, you Rude started, you. now finish it. This yeah, is so judge sus. Would. <laughs> the they judge is like, you don't sure. get to choose later, man. Ironically. Or, this is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Objection. Tap. So you're just going to run away after all this? Run away? Don't make me laugh, worthy. Huh? That's what you're doing. I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? <laughs> I don't want to be said anymore. But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... All right, we can provide that. You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof, which I feel like you have in abundance. It's realistic in an unfortunate way that they don't want to prosecute police officers. <laughs> Yeah, but if they're already on the stand, it's kind of too late. Uh, yeah. Well, Mr. Wright. Your, your honor. Do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Skye dispose of his body? Do I have any concrete proof? Uh, do I have proof? I think I have to say I have proof. I don't think you're you getting another search segment after this, so. You gotta say it. You uh, better. I, I can't let him just squirm his way out of this. I've got to keep the pressure on. Yes, Your Honor. I, I do have such evidence, and I'm not stalling or anything. Then please hurry up and present it. Just remember, it better prove Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman beyond a shadow of a doubt. Wait. He what? <laughs> what? That's not the legal standard. I know. It's beyond a reasonable doubt. And it's... Lana's trial, not Gant's trial. So this is also all it's got to do is create a single reasonable doubt. Which I've already done. The, like, come on. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you My have. job over is done. Over. Pay me, let's go. <laughs> it's got to be something recent or from the beginning. Uh, I don't know. Goodman was not stabbed with Edgeworth's knife. He was stabbed with an SL9 knife, right? Yeah, and then Lana stabbed him with Edgeworth's knife afterwards. So, he was connected to the SL9 case. Is that it? I don't know if that's conclusive, though. No, I, I think we... I feel like we don't actually have any concrete evidence. Everything is kind of flimsy, and the judge is seeming really, really picky. We can't not have concrete evidence. We're not going to get another search. Well, sometimes they... We're definitely not. Like, it's, it's the third day of the trial. We're trying to figure out that he murdered Goodman. So this all has to do with the other stuff. So Goodman stuff. It's not that. I think it's the SL9 knife is all I got. Yeah, that's all I got too. Any any thoughts? Oh. I'm asking you, Dylan. <laughs> I am I am the chat avatar at this no. point. Sorry. Oh, you have no thoughts, head empty? Head empty. Listen, I want Gant to get off here. I don't want to help you. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. That's not Edgeworth anymore. You've un-Edgeworthed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I didn't have to present is what I was saying, but I don't think I can go back now. No, um, for sure you had to present. I think you did. Okay, then I'm going to present the knife. That's all I got. It's the only thing that makes sense in my mind. All right. Take that! Oh, no. So, er... Uh... What exactly is this evidence? I don't know, the music stopped. It's proof as to whether or not it's enough to demonstrate the chief's guilt. I'll let you be the judge, judge. But 
I am the judge. Uh, oh, right. Uh, oh, what do you think, Your Honor? No, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm scared. No! Ah, oh, fudge! Really? Oh, that's not fair. What I think, Mr. Wright, is I'm going to be late for lunch. Wait, are you the Attorney General? What? <laughs> uh, I guess it that, wasn't That's enough. code. Please, Your Honor, give me just a little long to be consider. Something. No, I think we're going hmm. into like recess. Really? Yeah. Huh. Cause this isn't the usual like you got it wrong, try again. You know, like this is this is different. Huh. Okay, maybe you're right. I think that the way they're saying like concrete proof, like I don't have any of that. What? I thought we did, but I guess not. This is why I'm not the lawyer. <laughs> I don't think I have proof. I, I think we looked through our evidence and all of it was kind of like, we know it's Gant, but you know, judges like but really- the Can you call any witness you want still or no? I, I think I, that- Not at the moment over. right now. Sad. Yeah, it, it's no use showing evidence if I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. I, I have no conclusive evidence. I think we have to- I feel like the game is pushing to get Lana to like, break out and testify. I feel that's like that's too, yeah. where we're going with this. Hmm. Worth a shot. Yeah, we had enough health. I'm not worried. In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your accusations what? against the chief. No! This is not what I wanted! What? Here's a tip. Never gamble when you can't afford to lose, Rado. Well, I, I kind of could afford to lose. Seems that later luck was on my side again today. Mm. Okay, Udge. I'll leave the rest to you. Mm. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law enforcement agency. Am I gonna get another penalty? <laughs> what? Oh, thank God. Jackson, <laughs> tap, Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with it her. It is gonna be Lana, it is gonna be Lana. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. Yeah, it's gonna be Lana. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. <laughs> A lady who knows the truth, another witness. In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. <laughs> but she again has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions. And I wouldn't have called Gant a lady. <laughs> Raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? <laughs> Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? <laughs> the defense is the one calling witnesses today. Oh, you're putting a lot of faith in me, Edgeworth, but I, you know, I appreciate it. Most right. Does such a witness exist? I think it does. She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth. I think it's Lana Sky. That's all we got. It's gotta be. All right, no oh, objections. Yeah, for sure. Woo! Take that! The Ooh. defendant? Miss Lana Sky? She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 p.m. on February 21st. Her task? To dispose of the victim's body. Tap! In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm. Mr. Wait, didn't Edgeworth. He, didn't he just penalize you for saying that with not conclusive proof and then you said it again? I, no, I didn't actually use Gant's name, I think. A certain someone? Yeah, I... I <laughs> <laughs> Judge is not very your smart, Honor. Dylan. Technicalities, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> I could have been talking about anyone. I could have. The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. In 50 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in re- Hold on! Huh? Chief Gat, I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. It's not allowed. Bailiff, get him out of here. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claims- Bailiff, give him the slap slap. He's not allowed to do this. There will be terrible consequences. You ever just slap your screen to slap the character on the screen because they deserve it that bad? No, just me? What? Your Honor? That's right! I'm openly threatening the courtroom! But more importantly, your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. The judge literally said that he didn't count that as murder. And well, that is hypocritical of him. Uh, it's his choice. Everything about this man is hypocritical. Uh, uh. This isn't good. Of course, you never support such outrageous claims anyway. Right? Just something to think about. Gant. Toodles. Gant, you're, you're, you're walking a very thin line that you have way stepped over. All right, then. And he knows it. I've got a lunch date to meet. Okay, there's definitely some blackmail on Judge. I don't know. Because Judge should not be putting up with this. <laughs> okay, if there aren't any further objections, this court is now in recess. Finally, I can go eat my oh, tuna melt. Oh, God.
Dun dun. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Pal? Mate? That chief! Be something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore, remember? You cost me my job! Oh! But your name means Detective Detective, so you're just no longer Detective Detective Detective, you're just Detective Detective, you know? So you're still Detective Gumshoe, it's just instead of the. Yeah, but yeah, so sorry about that. Yeah, that's how I pay my bills, pal. I just tell them my, my name means Detective. <laughs> ah, don't worry. I've already decided where I want to work now. At your office! Uh-oh. Can he, though? Like, can he, though? My office? Sure! I'll take the place of that top knotted girl you used to work with. <laughs> I don't uh. know if I ever actually paid her, so... <laughs> Who do you mean, Maya? I unironically forgot Maya had a top knot. I needed that, oh thank you, game. <laughs> <laughs> Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Never. Steve Gantz done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? Can the, like, theme of the game just be in getting everybody who doesn't work in the Wright and Cola offices to work at the Wright and Cola offices? No. Can that be the whole overarching? No. I, I don't think that's how that works. That's so sad. <laughs> it's not fair. He has the right to refuse to testify. Settle down, right? Save that passion for later. Uh, Remember what the judge said? Uh, it's really, you can't keep doing this, I can't focus. <laughs> but Chief, that is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Don't make me laugh <laughs> while I'm doing my judge voice. <laughs> oh, no promises. <laughs> Clearly. Risks. What did he mean by that? He looks sussy wussy. <laughs> it's simple. There's a board game by the name. Uh, oh. If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite is also holds true. You mean he forfeits his rights to say anything too? Emma, are you okay? Yeah. When I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Uh, I guess Emma. gallery view. Best seat in the <laughs> house. I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. That's good, um, but relieved, really? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man. And she did it all just to protect me. In her sense of her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders. I mean, she's not that bright, Edward. You should know. She must have shut herself up deep inside to force herself to do anything and everything the Chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. You meant well. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Honestly, this is one of those things where she just should have done nothing and you would have been fine. Just maybe traumatic. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. Oh, <laughs> Gumshu, you're so bright. Murder is not when murder. Doubt, Let's society. go on strike. <laughs> not all murder is murder. <laughs> Not all homicide is murder, please. Not all death is murder, yeah. Not all death is murder. But they said all murder is murder in the game, so they don't have a difference. No, if you're a young child, then you murdered someone. No question about it. If you're a teen, there's some wiggle room. If you're an adult, oh, there's no way you could have murdered anyone. We gotta prove that left and right and up and down, backwards and forwards. Yeah. Chief can't maybe able to fool everyone else with his forgery. But he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I, I I see. Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma, why don't you wait? No, I'm going with you. <laughs> I want to be there when Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right? It's time to end this. He holds out his hand. I take his hand. He leads me into the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> would you like me to write you a fan fiction, Ori? <laughs> I bet oh there's my enough. God. Uh, yes, she would. Oh I'll ask that for her. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us. We're live at 9 p.m. Eastern, Twitch, and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time. And Meowth, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs>